Hello again. Welcome back. Eagle Eye here. Hope you're well. This is going to be a part two for our, uh, our raft slash boat tutorials. And um, I've just been up onto the Steam forum and have my usual read. And I see a comment from this up there in one of the boat or raft questions. And um, it's about building rafts on land. And as you know, I, from the last video, that I, I tend to put mine on this side or onto the rocks. But I, can't, I think it's Chayapin or however you pronounce it. Had a great idea about building it on a... Actually building them on a... On a platform. So, we're going to try that right now. We're just going to build a, a wooden foundation. Because they're nice and flat as well. Not high off the ground. And we're going to build it on there. And just see how it goes. So we've got that one around here from the... From this one. Now I don't know which is the top and the bottom at the moment. So, I think that's the bottom. We'll find out. How to find out is just grab... Um, Let's grab some wood and see, see where the, see where this is going to go. No, he's up the right way. That's okay. We'll leave that off for now. Okay, so we'll build another one on here. We'll just grab some, um, some of these. We might have to drag it to the edge first up, like this. Yep, beautiful. And we'll drag this one over this side. And we'll have one on there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. We'll put it back in the middle. What a great uh, tip that is. Okay, we'll build our regular shape. Grab some more balls. One there. And we'll have to move that forward. Oh, I needed some more. I'm going to have to grab. Yeah, we're going to have to move that forward a bit. So we'll just drag it forward. Put that on there. Perfect. We'll drag it back a bit. This one's going to be for a uh, sail only. And with the might even just use sticks as well. For the... I don't know how many I need. It's probably too many. We've got a thing there, have we? No, we haven't. Yep. So I'll whack these on here. Don't forget, you need to put a raft floor on before I can put anything on top. Oops. Yep. I need some more. I've read in the forums too that they're going to dump the driftwood tops for them, so that's cool. Now, and we'll grab a we'll put our anchor on here. a bit, I'll just drag that forward a smidge. Yep. 
No, a bit further forward. I'm about to have a storm in the middle of my tutorial. Maybe it's not high enough. Maybe we should have to build the platform a little bit higher. Than what we just did. Yeah, it's got it. We'll put a, a sail in the middle and a rudder. We can we can't put the rudder on. I'm gonna have to go a bit higher. Or what I'll just do is I'll I'll put it up on the rocks maybe. There we go. I'm going to make a um, rear end out of these. That's basically ready to go. We can put on the tops if we want. So we'll go high to low to high. It's not working, I don't know why. I'll just change this off a minute. We'll see if, we'll see if the new recovery thing works. We'll see if we get four sticks back. Ah, oh, just lost my hammer. I'll knock me things over. Oh, because so they vanished, so they got. Three sticks back out of that instead of four. Now let's get rid of it. 
Let me see if we can figure out what's happening here. Oh, there we go. So we go from high to back. So high at the back, yep. Gonna high at the back again. Okay, then we'll go to low. So we'll use the the E key. There we go. That's so that's high to low. And we'll turn that one around as well. Got enough for two more. So we'll go. Oops. That's where you turn it around automatically. And nothing down here. Oops. And we'll go on at the front, we didn't do the four sticks for that. One, two, three, four. So it goes low to high. Beautiful. Put this in the pile. I mean, the other one's gone, but that's cool. Oh, there they are there. So this is a big boat. Doesn't currently have any storage on it, so we can do a little bit of storage. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three. Okay, so we'll put some of these back here. One. Turn that one around. Turn that one around so we read it from the other side. Beautiful. Now, if you want to take that out and put a motor in there if you want to, put it in the middle. Let's drag into the water. Come on. Okay, we'll drop the anchor and get on. Okay, so that's how. If you want to, you said you could take that out with an axe. So if we attach to that, then we can raise the rut, we can put the sail, and then we can raise the anchor right from where we sit. And because I'm in the center of the boat slash raft, it's still fairly maneuverable. I'm on a full left hand lock with my with my uh, what's it? My A key. So as you can see, it pulls in pretty tight. This particular design. You can spin it around pretty quick. But that's how um, 
I'm going to turn the door and if I'm coming in, oh, I'm going to catch us up on this. You can get so far then you can put that down and then put the raft on it. Oh, sorry, the anchor on. And there we go. Ship building 101. And now on those, before it gets too dark and you can't see, these are my basics once again. My basic ones have everything I need for a long voyage. I'll leave a couple of two spare spaces or a spare space in each slot here for the axe and for the refined pick in case I've got enough materials to make one other one to add to it. Or, um, and that's mainly if I don't have enough room on my boat. So, um, all my spears for shark hunting. Once you get to a certain level, you only need four spears not five or six to kill a shark um, the potions are either carry gauze or bandages one of the two you don't need both um, I don't usually carry shark but I had them made up on this island so I'll put them in there and um, I said I've got double breath boosts because I use the air tanks and the breath boosts together to um, go inside those big tankers so these I just used to keep on my boat. So I'll put them next to me so that I don't block my vision when I'm trying to drive. And that leaves me with nine spaces here. 10, 11, 12, 15 spaces at that. That leaves me. Because I've had up to 12 um, containers off one of these wrecks so and they the spawns vary so that's a pretty big lot and sometimes if i can only see a small island and i can't see a tanker on it i'll put some empty containers on here as well so the one over there my regular one that i'm using at the moment over there has got as you can see it's got six containers main ones and it's got four empties on it as well in case i don't find bugger all on an island and I've got at least a bit of space to um to store some stuff in so this is from my current game this is what I was running before I I put the on this island on here for the tutorial so these are empty and these are um seven bag food spy glasses um fuel air tanks I haven't made up enough um uh, breath boost shit. I've only got, I've only got one. Because um, this is not that far into the game. Um, oh no, I've got some here. And well, so as you can see, that's pretty much the same as what the ones over there are, are set up as. And that's how I, how I set up my boat. I originally set this map up to um, build a boat in here um, if I needed to. But it's pretty confined. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed that. I used to keep a, I said I used to keep a, uh, um, a sail on my boat anyway. You don't really have to, but it's there as a backup in case you run out of fuel. Um, only has about running. Come on, get on there. Only has about running a rear rudder there is the fact that when you hang on to it you can't see very well so just be just just keep that in mind if you're only going to run a run a, a sail and if you if the sail's only for backup and that's cool so that one over there i've i don't even know i've got one more at the moment I don't think it has. No, I haven't put a... I didn't put a, a rudder back on this one. So... I couldn't, in effect, take that out. But it does help me to locate my ship on my boat as well. Anyway. Hope uh, you found that uh, interesting. And um, if you did, that's cool. If you didn't, then that's cool as well. So, um... Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.